shores of Lake Malaren, north of Stockholm and close to Uppsala, is one of Europe's best conserved Baroque castles, Skokloster Castle. Once approachable not only from the land, but also from the water, situated on a scenic peninsula. It is a highly visible, bright, white, three-story, four-wing building with massive corner towers, which are like giant domed lanterns. In 1244, a Cistercian convent was founded here, which was demolished in 1574, leaving only a church. In 1611, Baltic cavalry officer Hermann Rangel acquired the estate and he eventually passed it on to his son, Carl Gustav. Earl Carl Gustav Rangel was both Lord High Admiral and Field Marshal of Sweden, and he had a new castle built here in which he resided. The Earl was richly rewarded by the King for his services in the Thirty Years' War. A member of the aristocracy, Carl Gustav Rangel, was educated at the University of Leiden, spoke several languages, and was an art lover. He had many good contacts in Europe, and they kept him informed of and provided with the latest luxuries. He married Anna Margata Haugwitz, a German noblewoman who bore him 11 children, of whom six died at an early age. On the first floor of the castle are the sumptuous private rooms of the family. The Earl's bedroom was one of the most important rooms. Rangel was inspired by French fashion, stucco and valuable tapestries. His successor and son-in-law, Earl Magnus Brahe, also appreciated fine art and created a commemorative room with a statue of Mars, the Roman god of war. In the middle of the 18th century, the large dining room was transformed into the King's Hall, the largest room decorated with regal portraits of the castle. In 1664, Bavarian artist Hans Zach completed the extraordinary stucco ceiling. Cupboards, cabinets and beds were the most important and elaborate furnishings of the Baroque period. Here, a grand show of wealth was vital, and in as many ways as possible. In the western wing of the first floor are the rooms of the Brahe family, living, bed and guest room. They stayed here briefly in the summer months. On the second floor is the unfinished banqueting hall, with plain brick walls and basic wooden floorboards.
the structure of the roof and abandoned workbenches gives the impression that work only finished yesterday. The colonnades on the second floor contain large paintings. Many of them come from the art collection of Niels Bjelke. A staircase leads to the third floor with various paintings and a horse that belonged to Charles IV. This was the library. Carl Gustav Rangel purchased most of the collection in numerous European bookshops in 1665. There are around 30,000 books on geography, botany and medicine, located in seven rooms and with matching desks and chairs. On the top floor is the armory, which contains more than 2,000 objects in three rooms. In the first room are various unique door locks and keys in all shapes and sizes. And in the largest of the three rooms are Wrangell's armor-plated guns that date back to the 17th century. Armor and travel chests complete the collection of war objects, a splendid collection of items from the time of the Thirty Years' War. In 1750, weaponry collected by Carl Gustav Bielke and the Brahe family were brought to Skoklosters in order to augment the existing collection. The castle is the largest private residence in Sweden. Next to the castle and surrounded by blossoming trees, there is a small red church that has been preserved by the Cistercian convent. A religious building with bell tower whose design is typical of the early 13th century. In the interior of the brick-built church, there are stone coats of arms and other references to the rule of the counts of both Rangel and Bray. In a side chapel, the family tomb is still intact, guarded by stone statues of the head of the family. This is the remarkable legacy of an aristocratic family and its impressive life within the captivating and Baroque Skokloster Castle.